Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about email components and features. Topic of computer network. Let's start with introduction of email. Email stands for electronics mail. Email is fast, easy to distribute and inexpensive. Using the email, we can send text, images, videos. So we can say using the email, we can send the multimedia files. Next, main protocols of email is SMTP and POP. SMTP is simple mail transfer protocol, it is mail sending protocol and POP post office protocol, it is the mail downloading protocol or we can say mail access protocol. There are three interfaces to access a mail from the web server and send a mail to the other user. The first one is desktop email client, the second one is mail web interface and the third one is mail application on the mobile. The example of desktop email client is Outlook and Mozilla Thunderbird. Example of mail web interface is Gmail, Yahoo, Rediff Mail, Hotmail and many more. There are many applications are available in mobile to send a mail to the user and access a mail from the mail server. Next, modern email has many powerful features. So let us take one example to understand the powerful features of the modern. The first feature is a messages with attachments. So we have already discussed that we can send doc file and multimedia file through the email. Next, hyperlinks. So using the hyperlink, we can add external link in the mail body. Next, HTML formatted text. So using this highlighted menu, you can write the HTML formatted text in message body. Next, embedded photo. So this is the example of embedded photo. Embedded photo means you can drop the photo inside the message body. So no need to attachment, photo will be displayed in the message body. Next, email components. To understand the high level view of internet mail system, we have to learn the key components of the email. So first component of the email is user agent. So here name suggests itself, user agents are present on the user device like tablet, mobile and PC. Next component is mail server. So users incoming and outgoing mail are stored in the user mailbox and user mailbox are located in the mail servers. Next, simple mail transfer protocol. Using the SMTP protocol, the mail are exchanged from one server to another server. Also using the SMTP, all the incoming and outgoing mails are stored on the mail server. Now discuss all the components one by one in detail. So first component is user agent. Using the user agent, we can read the mail. So user agent is also called the mail reader. All the outgoing and incoming mails are stored on the server. So using the user agent, user can access the mail from the server and read the mail. Next, using the user agent, user can read the mail, replay the mail, forward, save and compose the mail. We all know that these all functionalities are available in each mail server. Using the user agent, user can know the total number of new mail in the mailbox. The example of user agent are Microsoft Outlook and Apple Mail. We have already discussed about different kind of mail interface to the user in the introduction part of email. Next email component is mail server. So here mail server or message transfer unit MTU both are used in the same context. So here I am using term message transfer unit instead of mail server. Now see in this diagram the block of mail server, this green color box shows the outgoing message queue and the yellow color box shows the user mailbox. So user mailbox contains the incoming messages for the user. So in all the mail server, incoming and outgoing mail queue are present. So that all the incoming and outgoing mail are stored in the user mailbox. In each mail server, there is a message transfer agent. So message transfer agent MTA is the same as user agent on the user device. So MTA are the system program that run in the background of the mail server. So all the functionality of the email server are executed by the MTA message transfer agent. So main purpose of the MTA is move the message from source to destination. Next email component is SMTP. SMTP stands for simple mail transfer protocol. SMTP is application layer protocol. So the purpose of SMTP is transfer the message from sender's mail server to the recipient mail server. So now see in this diagram, SMTP is exchange the mail from one mail server to another mail server. So here there is one question, 
So how SMTP is connect from one mail server to another mail server. So here SMTP uses the TCP connection to transfer the email from one mail server to another mail server. So TCP connection is established on port number 25 in each mail server. So all the mail server are connected using the TCP connection. Next addressing system used by the SMTP consists of two parts. One is the local part and second one is the global part. So let's take one example to understand the local part and global part of the addressing system. For example, there is one email address abc at the rate gmail.com. So here abc is the local part and the gmail.com is the global part. So we can say local part is the user's unique ID. So here in this example, global part is consist of two domain. .com is the top level domain and gmail is the second level domain. So in each example, we can say the second level domain is the name of mail server like abc at the rate gmail.com, abc at the rate yahoo.com, abc at the rate redifmail.com. So in each email address, at the rate sign divide the local part and global part. So if you want to learn about email address in detail, then click on the above thumbnail. Next, email functions. Each email system supports five functions. The first one is composition, second one is transfer, the third one is reporting, the fourth one is displaying, and the fifth one is disposition. So now all the email functions discuss one by one. The first function is composition. So we all know that what is the purpose of composition in email. So using the composition function, we can create and replay the message. Next transfer. The purpose of transfer function is moving a mail from sender to receiver. Next function is reporting. The purpose of reporting function is inform the sender what happened to the message. For example, user A want to send a mail to the user B. So first of all, user A will compose the message and send the message. So whenever message is delivered successfully to the receiver side, mail server display one message like message sent. If receiver email address is not correct, at that time reporting function send a mail failure notification to the sender. The next function is displaying. It display all the emails on the user screen. It also display the total number of new email. Next function is disposition. In this function, user can read, save, move, replay, forward, delete the message. So how to use this function? It is depend on the receiver. If you have any query regarding email components and email functions, you can ask me in comment section. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share with others. Thank you for watching this video.